My name is Handy, and I'm a nice clean hand. Oh no! Here comes my enemy! Wah! I'm the drum hand, and I'm gonna jump all over you! Wah! Hi, my name's Lena, and that was my clean hand. What I would like to know is, can water kill germs on its own? Will water be the superhero of this story, or will the nasty germ villain prevail? It's science time. Off to the lab. Water often disguises itself like this. But it actually looks like this. Each of its molecules contains one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. It is inorganic, transparent, tasteless, odourless and nearly colourless. Hmm, not sounding very superhero-like, is it? It is vital for all forms of life. Just like this pepper sticks my finger, germs just can't be washed away by water. So what's a germ? A germ is actually a pathogen and can make you sick. So if water can't kill them on its own, maybe water's trusty sidekick, soap, can help. People often think of soap as gentle and soothing, but at the molecular level, it is very good at breaking things apart. A drop of ordinary soap diluted in water is enough to kill many types of germs. Just like the soap pushes the pepper away from my finger, soap and water combine as a super germ-fighting duo. So there you have it. Water can't kill germs on its own. Just like Batman needs Robin, soap and water need each other to save the day. So remember, lots of soap and water for clean hands. Oh, I didn't mean it literally!